Repetition is also an important concept in computational thinking and is commonly used in algorithms. We can see repetition in the behaviour of software systems all around us. For example, if we think of the lift again, an algorithm that controls the behaviour of the lift might look something like this. Go to the next floor. If the button for that floor has been pressed, stop and open the doors. Otherwise, continue moving to the next floor. Repeat until we have reached the top or perhaps the bottom of the building. Repetition allows us to complete a common task multiple times, perhaps with slightly different information or context, such as in the example above where we were considering a different floor each time. One common aspect of repetition is the inclusion of a condition that tells you or the computer how many times to repeat that sequence of instructions. Repetition is also referred to as a loop. It is essentially defined by two things, having something to do and a way to know when to stop doing it. You keep going, doing that one thing over and over until you stop. In younger years, repetition can be explored using storybooks or nursery rhymes that involve repeating a set of actions. We could also have students create their own simple poems or songs that use repetition. Or dance and music can also be used here by teaching students simple patterns that they can repeat together to make a song or dance routine, even combining multiple patterns if they wish. A more advanced activity might involve exploring repetition in a game with the intention of students creating their own game at the end of their unit. The teacher could introduce repetition by having students play a sports game, such as basketball or netball. At the end of the lesson, we can ask students to think about how repetition was actually used. How did they know when to start in the centre again? How did they know when to switch from offence to defence? Students could write out these rules as an algorithm and then come up with their own sport games with their own algorithm involving both repetition and decision making. We will end this lesson by exploring some possible activities with strong connections with other learning areas. In mathematics, one example could be to explore pathways in simple graphs by working out the shortest way to get from one point to another. This could be done as an activity by constructing a town with roads and houses and then working out how to navigate a toy along the roads from one point to another. Algorithms could be explored here in terms of the construction of the town and the connection of the roads or in the directions the toy has to take through the town. This could then be extended to discussions about GPS and perhaps also online maps. In a theme on food and nutrition, students could be asked to explore recipes by cutting out the individual steps in paper and then working out the correct order. Or considering what would happen if the steps were done in the wrong order. Imagine breaking an egg after trying to mix it into the flour. They might also combine different recipe steps to create a new recipe or for their favourite food. In science, students could explore a dressing game by choosing a character's outfit to fit different kinds of weather to demonstrate decisions. This could be done in many ways, for example by dressing in the right clothes, putting the clothes on a paper doll, or even through the development of an online game using computer programming. This is one example we can develop further as we explore visual programming later in the course. Repetition could also be demonstrated through a physical education class. This teacher could describe what a loop is to the class, and then they could have instructions such as keep skipping until the whistle blows, or keep passing the ball to your partner until you have passed it 10 times. Students could help the teacher create new sentences that involve loops or repetition, which they can then combine into a new activity.